Shot Show 2018 with Chris of Seacamp. How you doing, sir? How's it going? Good, good. And actually, uh, well, there's a, a little more involved than just being Seacamp, uh, based upon what you just told me. But uh, so, how are, how are you uh, starting the first day? How are you enjoying the first day of Shot Show, Chris? Excellent. So this is our first year on the show floor proper. Um, we've been around for quite some time, but um, you know, in the past, wait times have been two to three years. Right. So we kind of focused internally um, to kind of slowly increase our production um, to a point you know, where we could start offering the firearms out. And traditionally, C Camp is almost like getting a custom gun, in a way. Exactly. Uh, you know, yeah. like you said, the wait time was was traditionally an issue, a problem. Yes. The company C Camp has been around for how long? Uh, it's been around since the mid-70s. Okay. Um, it got its start uh, with uh, double action conversions of the old combat commanders, Colt combat commanders, things like that. Um, and then it kind of transitioned into uh, Larry C Camp and his father, uh, looking at an option that they wanted to just have a really highly concealed firearm that could just be tucked away and is just there when you need it without right. having to carry a you know big bulky full size firearm. On your right, and, and and well known for not having uh, necessarily the, the largest uh, percentage of stopping efficiency. Yep. However, you know, and it's and you know, we've all heard the term pip squeak round. Uh, mouse gun, that kind of oh, terminology, yeah. but you know, you almost have to embrace that uh, and, and move forward and push forward. It sounds as if Seacamp as a general entity has done so. Absolutely. And you mentioned that there's been an acquisition. Yes, uh, so about four years ago, um, we took over production of Seacamp uh, from Larry himself. Uh, the owner of our company has been for years very good friends of Larry. Um, Larry had been working in Milford, Connecticut doing his process. Um, we partnered with him to take over that process. You know, what was really important to him was keeping that manufacturing very, you know, small, still hand polished, hand finished like we do today. You know, none of these are exported out, you know, for outsourcing of different processes. We take care of it all in-house. Um, and, you know, I think the product's quality speaks for itself. Right. And we'll get into that in just a moment. Now, the, the parent organization or company is what? Is Wally Precision. Wally um, Precision. Yep. It's, we're a precision manufacturing machine shop uh, in Southwark, Mass. We're, again, smaller. We've only got about 20, 25 employees. Okay. Um, and, like I said, we've been producing these for the past four years now. So, Wally has been able to increase uh, production volume by, with staff, correct? Right. Yep. And, and thereby increase production, but without necessarily sacrificing quality. Exactly. Okay. So, you know, when we took over, that's when that period of three to four year waits was kind of in play. And, you know, it's kind of both double-sided. I mean, the fact that people were willing to wait that long for a firearm is a testament of itself. Well, and again, you know, albeit with the comments that, you know, we've all heard over the years, and you for less years than me, sure. necessarily, <laughs> but um, the, the concept uh, from Mr. Seacamp was, you know, it's better to have a firearm you know, the firearm that you have with you is what you're going to have. Right. And so this is something that can, you know, obviously put it, you can put it in, in the swim trunk pockets, yep. Yep. you know. And, and uh, that's so with that said, let's go into uh, the, the evolution of the company. Sure. Um, so as I said, in the mid-70s, that's where Seacamp started with the uh, double action conversions. Um, they then released the 25. Um, 25 ACP, um, all solid stainless, moved on to a 32, um, and then as more recent years, transitioned into a 380 as well. Um, so all the firearms in terms of sizes are virtually the same, and they're virtually the same to the point where they can all use the same holster. Um, even as small as they are, they still have a 6 in 1 capacity, um, which is very respectable, especially for a firearm of its size. No, They are all solid stainless steel construction. And again, like I said, hand polished, hand finished, um, and just make for a really nice, high quality firearm that's dependable. Like you said, you know, its size, while some people, like you said, ah, oh, you know, it's a mouse gun, it's, but you know, it's, it's better to have that gun in your back pocket than your 45 that's sitting that, you know, in your safe at home. Well, Chris, and there's, an, there's another adage that goes with that even mice bite. Yes, right? yes. Oh, and absolutely. Mickey Mouse, he's got some good uh, clampers on him, you know? Yeah, so, and, you know, and with no advancements that are being made in, you know, in, uh, you know, uh, the bullets, you know, in terms of the design. Exactly. I mean, it, you're getting very, very, very respectable stopping power out of smaller caliber rounds. Now, if I recall, and it's been, it's been a while, like I said, albeit it's been a while since I've actually handled one, there was a, there was a cartridge 
you have to use a proprietary cartridge. If I remember correctly, it was the uh, silver tip. Winchester silver tip. Yeah, yeah, okay. So the C-Camp was designed around the Winchester silver tip. Um, that's what the original, you know, Larry and his father built the firearm around. Um, we and, have and at the time, probably before your time, the silver tip was the prima donna yep. sto you know, uh, uh, defensive load. Absolutely. Um, it's just that was what was most no. widely available for hollow points, and again, that's what it was designed around. Um, we have expanded that um, you know, uh, approval roster, we'll call it, of um, different ammunitions on there, available on our website, ccamp.com, and you can see that full list. Um, but yes, we have expanded from that original uh, silver tip. But the one thing that they are, they are 32 okay. and, and 380, I should say, they are hollow point only firearms. And, we also and that is for the shorter cartridge lengths that you get from the hollow point as opposed to a full jack. On the size of the frame, is the, and I've not handled the 380. Obviously, it came about long after I did. <laughs> well, we're going to that later. So, on the 380, is it the same frame size? Correct. So all the models actually originate from the same base frame. Um, right. We do obviously machine them differently, um, but they do all originate from the so same. So you put it, do a side by side for me with the 380 sure. shooting 25. So you'd be hard pressed, other than looking at the uh, obviously the serial number, um, to really tell the difference between the two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Round capacity is the same for all calibers. Uh, the 32 and the 3 d are 6 one and the uh, 25 is a 7 Okay, very good. Uh, what's a, obviously, finish, and there would be some variances in cost factor, but what what, are, what is the uh, suggested retail on? Sure, so uh, the MSRP on our firearms on our 32 and our, I'm sorry, 25 and 32, MSRP on those is 510. And then on our 380 MSRP is 595. Still in, very, very reasonable for what what, what the uh, the tool does. Absolutely. Okay, you know, and then again, full solid stainless steel it just makes for a very long lasting firearm that you can pass down, you know, generation to generation, as opposed to, you know, what you get sometimes with the polymer construction where it's going to wear out over time. Now, what are you people doing with regards to finishes? Is there something that's in the works on that? Yes. So, uh, the C Camp has always had its very signature full polish, hand polish, uh, um, something that we just started releasing um, through our our distributor MG Wholesale um, is a nano ceramic coating with, for the black, followed by a clear Cerakote, um, which finishes it off with a very nice wear resistance. Uh, so it's going to hold up and withstand use. Okay. So you have two layers yep. of uh, finish? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, we wanted to have that nano ceramic coat because it's a very long lasting color, that black nano ceramic. Um, again, the stainless steel material um, makes it a little more difficult in your options in terms of what you can coat it with right. as opposed to your steel and other things. Um, so we had to go with that. And then again, for that really that wear resistance that we want to last, um, we went with that clear Cerakote to finish it off. Okay. Now, we have a few other examples over here. here. Let me zoom in there. Yep, so we, some we've got some finishes uh, that uh, I think George Patton would probably call it. <laughs> We're going to be looking into So we are looking into some different coloring. Uh, over there, you can see there's a gold, Everybody rose started gold, different, and then a turquoise blue. Yeah. Have to change everything up. Um, and then we're experimenting, you know, experimenting with some different looks. You know, we have the, the nano ceramic black um, with just the slide polished as kind of a little pop of, uh, of uh, color, different color. So, something that we're working on, we're looking to kind of expand our offering, and then so now, far so good. And are these more exotic colors? <laughs> Um, and finishes, are they currently available or is that in the wings? So our uh, nano ceramic black is currently available. Um, that's exclusive through our distributor, MG. Um, and then these were actually finished just in time for the show. Um, so we're actually going to be offering those in the coming months. Okay, and just in time for you to let Stuart take a few of these back with him for <laughs> testing and evaluation, hey, right? You know, absolutely. Okay, very good. Anything else in the works? Um, right now, no, uh, that's kind of where we are. Um, no, uh, let me say, take a step back, nothing that we're ready to publicly talk about yet. Right, okay. Um, but, um, you know, we always kind of have stuff in the works. I might have a cigar for you to, to <laughs> eke it out of you. And by the way, we've got Sean here. He's one of your, 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 your fine engineer. Oh, yeah. We'll do the left hand uh, Boy Scout shake. Sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, like, I'm a Boy Scout, right? <laughs> so, um, good deal. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Absolutely. Um, and, Anything from you, Sean? 
I'm, no. I'm pretty much, uh, I'm sure you've probably covered most of it. Yeah, you, you're like, just keep me busy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> just keep me busy. Hey, make yeah. us hire even more people. Exactly. Very good. Absolutely. Well, gentlemen, you have a, a pleasant trip home and uh, a very good show. Thank you. Thank you.